Uh, first and foremost, give all praises and all glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders that do the well and great millstone. Peace and salutation to the sincere virgin out there pushing us gospel in sincerity and truth. Si Shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well. This lesson will be entitled The Lord Will Provide. What inspired this lesson really and truly, you know, was, was, was really a yapa sight. I was on, on work and I took my lunch, right, and I went down to the, to the spot I always eat at, you know. It is, it, it, secluded you know it quiet you know it's be there by myself i prefer to eat alone it's on, um, in the grass you know and while i was eating my food crumbs was falling into the grass you know crumbs and i end up after i finish eating however I was just watching the crumbs on the ground, you know, and I started to see ants appearing, you know, it wasn't plenty ants at first, and I ended up falling asleep, and after about like 30 minutes I wake back up, and there was an innumerable amount of ants, like a great army you understand of ants because there was plenty crumbs that basically fall on the ground and, and this great number of ants came and they was breaking apart the, the crumbs and put, putting it into smaller pieces and carrying it into the you know into the the, the home for lack of better words you know all of them come together and they was really dealing with all the crumbs and then also a stray dog ended up appearing and i had leftovers and bones and stuff in the bag and i end up throwing it to the dog and you know he eat it you know i wish i had more to give him but what i learned from observing that was how the most i provides for these animals you take into you acknowledge you know how insignificant a, a ant a ant's life is one single ant i'm sure millions of ants die every day you know by us just walking lying down breathing or you know resting our hand on something not noticing that they're there you know truly insignificant you know when compared to a human's life and for some strange reason in that moment the Mosai fed an entire colony off of the crumbs I couldn't believe how much ants it was there was there all of them came out you know and the Lord provided a meal for them and not, not only for them for the stray dog as well that stray dog just happened to stumble upon me at that moment you know and I ended up giving him the food and it made me realize that hey we have nothing to worry about on in all honesty we don't have anything to worry about we don't you don't have to worry about the end you understand because if the lord provided for those ants provided for that dog of how much more you understand do you think that he would give to the, his people and not just to his people but to the chosen of his people in the book of luke chapter 12 verse 22 it say and he said unto his disciples the yahushai speaking he said therefore i say unto you take no thought for your life what she shall eat neither for for the body what he shall put on the life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment 
So your life is more than clues. More than food, I mean, and your body is more than just to put on clues. Verse 24, it's to consider the ravens. For they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and you have feeded them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you would take in talk and add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies how they grow, they toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then Yahweh so clothed the grass, which is the day in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hey, you know, let's say that um, worry, you know, not of what ye shall eat or drink, right? Because the Lord, the Lord knows that ye have need of these things. The Lord knows knows that we have to eat. That we have to drink, that these bodies that is in order, that is how it's their life to eat meat and to drink. You know, it needs clothes. Um, we can't walk around naked, you know, the Lord knows you need clothes, He knows you need a shelter, so we to, to stay. So, like, the Lord understands that we, we have basic necessities that we need. But Yahweh Shah is saying to seek the kingdom of, of Yahweh. To seek the kingdom of his father, make that your main priority. Not acquiring money, acquiring wealth, not trying to acquire a house or cars, you know, and food and all these things. Don't make those things your main priority. But by seeking the kingdom of the Lord, these things will be added unto you, and the Lord will, you know, He will provide for you. But you realize it's say in 24, say consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. And verse 27, consider the lilies, how they grow, they toil not, they spin not. Yeah, how God help those who help themselves? This is a clear cut to that garbage that is spewed by Christian mouths. It said the ravens don't sow nor reap. The ravens don't put in no hard work. If for some reason the Lord continues to feed them. You understand? Doesn't the Lord feed the... the the animals he does right even down to the smallest ant as i saw today the lord cared for for ants and he fed them you understand and they neither saw no rebellion they didn't plan they didn't um you know plan out that whole scene to get our food they didn't toil but it fell upon them. Imagine that, that that food fell upon them. You understand? Um, they were fed. So that's to show you that garbage where they say the Lord help those who help themselves. And no. Seek first the kingdom of, of Yahweh. And how do you seek this kingdom? By doing the right thing. By keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. By having faith in Yahweh Hashem and Yusharit. By waiting upon the Lord, by doing the right things and make the calling for election sure, by studying and, and, and giving due diligence, you understand? In all faith, all fear and all obedience, all sincerity, truly believing in the power of Hashem Yashai. And these things will be added unto you. That is the work that you have to put in for, to receive food, to receive drink and raiment and shelter. But it's not to worry. Because the lack, you know, the lack is greater than the than the ants, and than than the beasts. You understand? Book Isaiah 65, verse 13 and say, Therefore thus saith the Lord Power: Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing, 
for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You understand? So, I mean, they don't need no breaking down. The Lord's servants will eat. So, in the time of Jacob's trouble, the Lord's servants will eat. They will drink. They will be merry. They will be joyful. When they see the destruction, they would because they know that that is this, the sign that they was waiting on. When this karagma come out, they would rejoice because they know that their power is on his way and that these words were faithful and true and that Yahweh Shai is returning. Yahweh Shai is literally coming. You understand? They would rejoice. This is what, this is what, um, the Holy Scriptures say what? In that day seven women will cleave unto one man. Why do you think they would say that? Why do you think they would, they would ch chase after the men of the Lord? Women are materialistic creatures. You understand? On some form or level, they are materialistic. You know? And in these days, when these when, when the storehouses fail, when they when they the baby daddy Esau, you understand, fail, and the system crashes and everything is is, is burning, everything is, is hell out here. Farming. Plagues, pestilence, death by the sword, by the pure destruction out here. They would look for light. They would look for safety, and they would. They would. The only people that would have that safety, have that protection and that guidance, that light would be who the men of the Lord, and they would come and try to cleave, and you know would be in a position where you could accept and reject. That is, that is literally coming. Right? They will be willing. You understand? These women will be willing. And you could accept and reject. Because as men of the Lord, you know, Lord will be of the elect. The Lord will, will take care of us. You understand? The Lord will take care of us in these last days. Alright, the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 14. It said the sinners of Zion, the sinners in Zion are afraid. The two thirds of our people, you will be afraid. You will tremble in those days. You know why? Because the words of the prophets, the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, will play over and over and over in your mind. You will remember everything they said in those days. You would remember to them talking about chariots. You would remember them talking about UFOs. You would remember them talking about um, the, 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 the RFID microchip. You remember them talking about famine. You remember them talking about plagues. You understand? Talking about Esau is the devil. Talking about Yahweh Shem Yahusha. You would remember all the things that they prophesied in the name of the Lord. Right, verse 14, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness had surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? It say, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding off bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. So an upright man, a man that you know, has, has, has removed himself from the wickedness of this world and chose to cleave unto righteousness. The 16 it says, He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. You understand? So bread shall be given him and I. That bread and that warm waters, it is referring to physical water, physical food and drink. As the scriptures say, we would eat, Lord willing, you know, the elect, they would eat, they would um, drink, they would sing, you know, for joy of heart. But the bread and the waters is also being referred to the truth. The truth, you understand, and that way go in Revelation, Revelation 6. Um, no, not so far though. 
Revelation 6 verse 6 And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say A measure of wheat for a penny And three measures of barley for a penny And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine You know so thou, thou, thou Bread and thou waters and the sun That is the truth For wisdom shall be what The stability of thy times The stability of thy times This would This is the comforter This is the guide you understand this is the these scriptures it will be the thing that guides us to salvation this is our knowledge you understand all these things is gifts that were given to the elect and our fruits you know lord the lord won't forget our labor of love and lord when we are of the elect our fruits would, would, would blossom in the end you understand we and, and you know they talk about repurchase your soul well, we we would, the elect, the elect, you know, would, right, and that would manifest in the form of what spiritual power, protection, um, guidance, you know, deliverance, salvation, immortality. These are the things that the elect have to look forward to. So though we we suffer first, though we lose our first, and we're gonna suffer in the beginning. We shall survive in the end. The elect, you know, I keep saying we, you know, the elect will survive in the end. You understand? And it was a yapa thing, you know, the, the way I look at the answer, and they, they, they were receiving bread. Right? The same way the Lord fed our, our um, forefathers and foremothers in the wilderness, the same way the Lord provided for Elijah. You understand? The Lord, the Lord feeds his sheep. The Lord provides and take cares, take takes care of his sheep. So fear nothing. Fear, be not afraid of anything. For Yahweh Hashem Yoshai will provide for us in the end. Hey, and with that, hope is as edifying. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yoshai, Hashem Akadash, Shalom.